Welcome back to Route 27. The path to the Pokemon League goes on, and I totally forgot that I wanted to show you something at the beginning of, the, of this video. Oh well, not starting over because that's my prerogative. Um, in, on Route 27, you are technically in Kanto. However, if you remember in Gold, Silver, Crystal, you could fly only to Kanto if you were in Kanto, and only to Johto if you were in Johto as evidenced by what I'm about to show you. If you choose fly, you can't fly to uh, Johto anymore, since we're in Kanto. However, Game Freak introduced a little convenience to allow us to uh, go from Johto to Kanto and vice versa, a, a bit more conveniently than the Magnet Train in Saffron and Goldenrod. Uh, namely, that there are some places where you can fly to both regions, namely uh, routes 23 and 26, as well as the uh, well, the route 23 is the entrance to the Pokemon League, so I guess that's about it. But uh, yeah, the bizarre thing is that you can fly to Johto uh, from uh, route 20, routes 23 and 26, but you can't fly to Johto from route 27, which is closer to a Johto, so I don't really know what they were thinking. I don't remember I don't remember if you can fly to Johto from Route 28 and the entrance to Mount Silver either. Guess I'm gonna have to check that. But yeah, you can fly to either region when you're on uh, routes 23 and 26. So a popular way to uh, switch regions fast is to simply fly to the entrance to uh, the Pokemon League and then fly to the other region, which is a great bit of convenience, especially when you haven't reactivated, sorry about that, the Magnet Train yet, uh, especially since otherwise it's going to be rather difficult to switch regions. You have to either use the SS Aqua or that little trick that I kept doing in Crystal to go from Johto to Kanto, where you just start surfing on the first few squares of uh, Route 27 and then fly to uh, fly to Kanto from there. So yeah, nice little bit of convenience, though I'm still not sure how I can't fly back to New Bark Town if I'm on Route 27. Imagine that! You're in New Bark Town, you start surfing on the water, you go through maybe two, three squares tops, and you're on Route 27. And then you try to fly back to this destination that you could literally throw a rock at. And you can't. Yeah. Hooray for Nintendo Logic! Anyway, my entire team is at level 45 right now, so I'm going to uh, bring Lugia in the lead so that I can give it some valuable EVs before the Pokémon League, and holy crap, that's a big guy! Yep, uh, even uh, uh, second-tier legendaries like Raikou and Entei look uh, relatively tame uh, when they follow you. But the really big Pokémon, like, for example, uh, Kyogre or Lugia or who, stuff like that, they are pretty freaking huge. It's about as impressive as in Mystery Dungeon, because uh, the size differences are pretty big. In fact, the uh, Pokémon size actually has an influence on how many Pokémon you can carry with you. Uh, there are situations where you could only potentially carry two Pokémon, for example. Uh, anyway, I'm um, just checking the slow road here that I didn't check out last time, see if there's anything of interest there, and it honestly doesn't look like it. So, uh, let me get this straight. Uh, you could take the high road with the, where you need absolutely no HMs, and uh, th there's practically no grass that you're forced to step through, maybe a few squares, but that's it. Or, you could take the low road, face some random battles against tentacles and tentacruels, and you'd have a whirlpool in the way. Which one would you take? Yeah, pretty easy de decision, though uh, I'm not Rebecca Black, so I can't put myself in, uh, in the head of someone who actually has trouble uh, t taking life-changing decisions like this, but oh well. Uh, by the way, originally I wasn't supposed to do this video today. I normally should have done the, my little traditional suspect test analysis, uh, but unfortunately the Pokémon voting is still going on. And uh, it's been going on for quite a while now, and um, 
the non Pokemon voting took what five, six days. It took it took a lot of uh, time compared to what it usually does. So, um, I don't know if the Pokemon voting is going to last uh, as long as that. But um, I'm gonna wait until all the results have come out before making this video. And it's not because there's a shortage of things I like to say about the results we already know. I could probably fill an entire video just about that. But, but, I'd rather wait just in case something, uh, something else comes up. Maybe there's gonna be a shocker, and everyone's gonna be so sick and tired of voting on Excadrill that they'll just vote it for a ban, you know, despite it not being broken whatsoever. Because yes, you're hearing this right, they just HAD TO NOMINATE IT AGAIN! There are three certain things in this world. Death, Taxes, and Excadrill being nominated every fucking round. But yeah, voting's still going on, so... I guess we're gonna have to wait a little longer. And as I said, I have a lot of things to say. Uh, probably enough that I'm going to have to do a two-parter this time around. But, uh, that's only something I'm going to get started on once all the results have come in. But that's enough of that, um... Uh, something that I want to mention, I don't know if I actually talked about it before, I've made so many videos that it's kind of hard to keep track, and, oh yeah, an unlikely fluke. This girl would make a perfect Johto gym leader. They're all sore losers. There's probably going to be an opening in um, Olivine, because Jasmine isn't enough of a sore loser. Um, but... Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I was checking out the uh, Bulba Garden yesterday, and something that annoys me about that site, and, and I don't know if I'm alone in that, is that when they're talking about uh, new anime episodes in Japan, or heck, anything pertaining to the anime on, uh, on uh, the Bulba News part of the site, they always, always, always use Japanese names despite the fact that the article is written in English. C I mean, why are they doing that? I just don't get it. Is it official policy? And if yes, why? I mean, it's, it's no fun when you read a text and you have no idea which character or which Pokémon they're talking about and you have to drag over your mouse to uh, see uh, where uh, which page the link leads to, but still, it's a minor inconvenience, but still, I'd much rather be able to just read the article and um, be able to know what they're talking about right off the bat. Instead, they have to, uh, you have to either do that, or recently they started to uh, make a paragraph at the end of each article saying that in the North American versions, this character is known as this name, this Pokemon is known as this name, and yeah, you get the idea, but why just not use the English names to begin with? Even if they're talking about uh, the about the Japanese anime, it's not like uh, it's not like anyone's gonna complain because uh, they are uh, called Scrafty Scrafty uh, when talking about the Japanese anime. But that's just a little pet peeve of mine. It's not something major, of course. As I said, it's more of a, of a minor inconvenience than anything else. But I'm still curious to know why they do this. Uh, is it because uh, is it because we're dealing uh, with the biggest freaking otaku of all time, or just I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, something that I noticed while talking about this is that. Um, this area here, the intersection between uh, Routes 27 and 26, appears to be a lot more complicated than in uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. Go check the maps on either uh, Cerebi's Poke Earth or uh, Bulba Garden for the, the pages regarding uh, both of these routes, and you'll see the maps for uh, Generation 2, and it wasn't nearly as complex as this, so... Yeah, you know me, I gotta explore everything, so I'm gonna have to check this out. Uh, by the way, something that I want to show you now that I'm on Route 26. Take a look at this. We can now fly to all the cities in Johto, even though we're even farther away than we were at the end of the last video. Yeah, doesn't make much sense either. So, if you head over there, we're gonna have a few jumping ledges. And is there anything there? 
doesn't look like it. Maybe in the boulders. I'm gonna check the boulders. Ah, big mushroom. Unfortunately, there's no vendor in this game that's gonna give you uh, twice the selling value for these, as in black and white, but... Oh well, so I guess I'm gonna have to surf because I distinctly remember seeing alleged that uh, you needed uh, to swim over to. I think it was in... I was about to say in that direction, but I barely have the time to turn. Uh, by the way, so, uh, one of you gave me a tip. I don't play competitive uh, Super Smash Brothers, so I wasn't really aware of that, but... Uh, one of you guys told me that Meta Knight was actually banned from uh, competitive uh, Smash Brothers, and... Oh, great. I miss with Fly. 5% chance of that ever happening, and it, ha it has to be against a Tentacruel. Can't be, and level 30 at that, can't be against a little weakling. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Barrier! That's not fair. Now I'm gonna do, what, no damage whatsoever. If it does half, I'll be very, very happy. Oh, it did well over half! So that means I would have killed it if not for that barrier. Maybe I tend to overestimate that thing's bulk because, uh, well, it's a fairly bulky Pokemon, especially on the special side. And uh, there's also the fact that, well, I have this uh, big level advantage, too, which doesn't exist in competitive play. So sorry if my mindset is a bit more oriented on... Uh, okay! Now what does this fisherman want? This is Ralph. How are you? Been spending more time with Goldine than with my kids. That's a bit sad. Well then do something about it! And, oh yeah, it, it was the fisherman who's obsessed with my mom for some reason. Uh, at least, at least he's willing to put down the phone. But, uh, yeah, as I was going to say, uh, they actually banned Meta Knight from competitive Super Smash Brothers. And, um, I honestly don't know if it's because it's gotten too out of hand, because there were uh, people saying that certain characters were too broken in, in Melee, but nothing ever got banned. It's either because people are a bit more aware uh, that potentially banning is an option, no matter how... Um... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! There's nothing there?! Well, maybe there's a hidden item, but I'm not gonna look all over the place for it, even though it's just like 10 squares. I don't, I don't care enough. God, so that means I wasted all my time to come here, contend against uh, this tentacruel that just wouldn't cooperate for absolutely nothing. But then, um, yeah, uh, I'm not really aware of what led to this since I don't play Smash Brothers competitively, but I was still sort of surprised by that. Because the thing is that every character in Brawl has a very, very different style of playing it. It's not like in Pokemon, when one Pokemon gets banned, you can sort of replace it with another one. For example, when Garchomp got banned again, people started using Haxorus a lot more in its place. But by taking away Meta Knight, you take away a way of playing the game that, um, well, of course it may be broken, but it's just that it's so vast. All characters in that game are so vastly different that um, there's no real way to replace a character you lose like Meta Knight. I mean, other, other characters may have traits like a Meta Knight, but it's not because uh, Kirby or King DDD or Charizard have a lot of jumps that uh, they can replace Meta Knight. So, a big oops on Nintendo's part, and you know, that's the problem when you try to introduce new elements to a, a, a competitive game. You gotta try and make them good enough to be usable without necessarily being broken. And I seriously doubt that the testers who tested the game were anywhere close to the kind of high-end players you can find on the likes of Smash Boards. Well, it depends on whether the game was tested for balance in the first place, which is no guarantee either. Maybe it was tested for balance, maybe it wasn't. And that's the thing about PC games, is that they're a lot easier to balance, because if something's broken, then you can just nerf it with a patch. But consoles don't have that option. Even if they wanted to try and nerf Meta Knight uh, through a patch or something, they couldn't do that because it's a console game. Maybe they could, I'm not the most tech-savvy guy, but... The main thing is that they never did. So, with that being said, I'm going to call it quits for today and continue the way to the Pokemon League next time.